Hello. Yeah, hello. This is Thrasher here at uh, United Parcel Service. Yeah. And I uh, need a signature and a COD here today on uh, on some freight here. What is it? Uh, we got uh, some sod here. Sod? Yes. Are you sure you have the right address? Quite confident. Our driver's already en route to you. I just uh, just as soon get the uh, payment prepared now. Well, who ordered it? It's uh, $1,949 even. Well, who ordered it? Uh, you're the recipient. Well, we're the recipient, but we didn't order it. Incorrect. You placed the initial order, and now we're fulfilling it. Do you understand? When did we place the order? I'm the owner of the house here, and I didn't place the order. So you tell me who placed the order. If it's our gardener, and he didn't tell us about it, I don't know, and I don't know where we need saw it. So you tell me where this is coming from. I am looking at your digital signature. Digital signature? Here on my tablet, yes, sir. Need an online payment or some method of payment here, 449. Well, where did you get my digital signature? From you. When? At the time of purchase. And where it was the purchase made? Siam. Siam? Correct. The I country, Siam? That's all the data I have, sir. Uh, Apparently this is the third attempt here. And this is sawed? Yes, sir. Grass? Something to do with the lawn, yeah. It's a big, big bundle of stuff here. Well, I don't... You don't have my digital signature because I didn't give you my digital signature. I didn't order anything from Siam, and Siam is no longer in existence. It's Thailand now, so I don't know what Siam is. Well, the whole thing's viewable online. The whole thing is viewable online. Your signature, the the item itself, it's a real colorful bunch of stuff here. Yeah. And uh, the payment details. So I can go ahead and take a credit card number here, and we'll just get everything... Uh... No, you're not going to take a credit card number at all, because uh, tell me where I can view this online. UPS.com. UPS.com. And then we uh, go to what? You need to just enter your credit card number as soon as possible. Uh, I ain't going to do that because uh, we didn't order anything. So. You're not going to do it on 4,200 pounds of stuff here? 4,200 pounds of stuff? Are you out of your mind? That is roughly the weight of this stuff here. But we didn't order it. We got four trucks en route to you. <laughs> well, too bad because they ain't delivering it here. Oh, no? Nope. You're not UPS. So don't Most certainly am. Twelve years on the job I've been here. Oh, yeah? What's your name? I'm on the dock right here. I'm Wallace. Wallace what? Thrasher. Wallace Thrasher. Okay, what's the number out there? Who's the supervisor? I'm the only one on the dock, sir. You're the only one? The only one on the dock here tonight, yes, sir. Oh, yeah? Why are we delivering this at night? Like I say, this is third or fourth try here to get this to you. Really? Yeah. Well, this is the first time we've heard of it. So, it's yeah, not a fact. Normal, a usual driver who comes here, and uh, he never mentioned anything about it. We oh. don't have. Where's mom? Yep, mom. I'm gonna get my wife here and find out if you've. Uh... Well, why don't you come down to the dock? Huh? Just cut a check or however you do it. Where is the dock? I'm in Calabasas right now. Calabasas? So you want me to come out to Calabasas to view something that I didn't order and that I probably don't want? Twelve years of working here, I've seen lots and lots of digital signatures come and go. Really? Lots of them. Yeah, well, I don't buy things with digital signatures. So, I, do we have... There's 4,200 pounds of sod or something on... or that's about to be delivered with four trucks from UPS. Did we order that? No. Sir, I have been told by my uh, colleague here we can't accept cash and coins to get this thing resolved here for you. Yeah, I think this is just a crock of shit, so you're not UPS. Absolutely, I am here. Yeah, well, I'll ask my driver tomorrow to track down a Wallace Thrasher. You can call me Stretchy. You're just not going to give up, are you, Stretchy? I just deal with fulfillment, product fulfillment here at United Parcel Service, so we've got total of three flags on your account here, so I just would like to get a routing number and we'll satisfy the debt. I don't have a routing number. How am I going to have a routing number? What the hell is a routing number? 
from your checking account or debit card. Or Are you out of your mind? I'm going to pay $2,000 for something that I do not have, did not order, and know nothing about. The sender's name is Artie Yamamoto. Send me something in the mail, sir. I'll send you a subpoena, that's what I'll send you. Oh, that's good. I'll respond to a subpoena. You'll be commanded to testify before Artie Yamamoto. Oh, good. Boy, that scares me. Artie Yamamoto. Who is he? He's at uh, the Bangkok Sod Center. Bangkok Sod Center. And that's in Bangkok, Thailand? Yes, sir. Oh, good. Yep, I'm likely to order sod. Thailand. You're out of your mind, Stretchy. Well, let's hop on a plane. We'll go uh, meet with them in person. Have a three-way conference. Are you out of your mind? No. I resent the implication, frankly. Well, good. Uh, resent it all you want. Send me a letter. Send me a subpoena. I'll be happy to receive it. We'll do a conference call. No, I don't need a conference call, Stretchy. You can call me Stretchy. I mean, I just did. I've got signed affidavits. Affidavits? All kinds of other things. Yes, sir. Oh, good. Well, you have my signature? I'm looking right at it. Yeah? And what does it say? <laughs> it's not legible. But not legible? So that would be step one is to work on that, but... I have no need for $2,000 worth of sod, and I didn't order it, and I know nothing about it. So you thought you'd just stick good old UPS with the charges, huh? No. Nope. Are you out of your mind? Nobody orders sod from Asia. Send me something in the mail, and uh, we'll get to the bottom of this. But we're not something we didn't order. Oh, you and I will get to the bottom of it all right if I need to come down and drive the truck myself. Oh, well, go ahead. Be prepared to be met by police. Be prepared enough. Okay, Mr. Duncan? Sandy. Yeah, I got that for you, okay, Mr. Duncan? At 259 a pound. That's perfect. Hi, this is Alex. Hello? Yes? Okay, could you hang up, please? I got somebody on the line I'm trying to take care of. Please. Okay, who are you calling? I'm not calling nobody because I got somebody on the line. Somehow the lines are crossing and the phone just keeps calling anybody. I don't know why it's doing it, but yeah, I got I a know. couple. I can sympathize because I've been getting calls from all over the United States. Go ahead. Oh, oh so thank you. Hello? African and Kirby Market. Who? Hello? Oh, we have the uh, African Sweet Barnes. Hello? Yeah. Yes? Yeah, the African Sweet Barnes. That's it. Oh, <laughs> I think there's been a mix-up. I think you've got the wrong number. Uh, do you want a whole pork butt? Hello? Or just like a tiny bit? Hello? Can you hear me? Yes. Okay, yeah. Um, did you want an entire pork butt or just like a small bit? Uh, are you in Memphis? Uh, in Memphis? No, this is Chicago. Chicago. Well, somebody is screwing with uh, the phone systems and stuff because oh. we've reached California. Oh, whoa. Wait, Wrong wait. number. Beach Department, just speaking. How can I help you? Hello? Hello? Yes? Yes. Who are you calling? I'm just answering the phone. This is the Meat Department. Where? In Chicago? I didn't call anybody. I was answering our phone. Oh, geez. And I was answering my phone. That's There's weird. kind of screw up with the telephone lines, and I'm getting calls from uh, meat markets. Uh, are you in Chicago? I'm not. I'm in Atlanta. Atlanta. Well, I got uh -huh. a call from a meat market in uh, Chicago a few minutes ago. Somebody's yeah, that's weird with the phones. Huh. So you and I are going to be victimized, it looks like. Uh, we'll find I don't know. Maybe call the phone company and see. We don't even dial out on this line. Yeah. Okay. Take care. Thank you. Thank you for holding us as Elliot. Hello? Hi there. Hello? Yes. Yes? I'm still here. Hello, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Okay. Um, yeah, what kind of questions do you have? Did your phone just ring? It did. Yeah, my phone just rang. Where are you? Okay. I am at Guitar Center. Where? In New London. New London, Connecticut? Yes. Someone has been jerking the phone lines around, and I've been getting calls from... Uh, Grocery stores in Memphis, butchers in Chicago, Atlanta, and now I'm getting a call from you. And you didn't make the call. Your phone rang and my phone rang at the same time. Yeah, that's really weird. Yeah. Somebody's dicking with the phone lines. They've managed to put some kind of a bug or whatever 
into the system, and uh, I hope it's not going to last too long. Cause I, but I don't mind talking to people all over the country. And uh, is this the first call that you've had uh, like this? Yeah, definitely. Oh. Well, hopefully you won't get any more, and I won't either. What are you looking for? I didn't call. Uh, my phone rang, and there you are. There seems to be a problem. My, I'm, uh, you're, what are you looking for? I'm not looking for anybody. Did your phone never, ring and you picked it up? Yeah, this is my, I'm, uh, you're, are you in the motel? No. No, there's something screwed up with the phone lines. That's been right. Uh, you know, you can blame, blame it to Frontier. They're the worst company. They need to go bye-bye. Okay. They're, they're based in New York. I hate that company. Okay. And, I, and when I used to live in Macaw, they're crooks. All that, right. That, yeah, <laughs> that company is horrible. I hate that company. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> they, need, okay. they need a better company. I don't know what's going on. I All had this right. problem the other day, and somebody's calling me. I don't even yeah. know who it is. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what's going on. I don't even yeah. know who it is. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Hiya, sweetie. Hello. Hello. What time is it for tomorrow morning? I'm sorry? What time do you want it for tomorrow morning? Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. I can understand you. Well, I can understand you a bit. They will at half past eight. Can you understand that? Yeah. Half past eight, they'll open it. So we want to come in at half past eight. They'll deal with the good stuff here. Did your phone ring or did you call me? No, you called me. No, I didn't. There's a problem with the lines. I don't know where it's originating. The phone rang here. You called yeah. me. My, my phone rang also, and I've been getting calls. Where are you? What city? Byers Road. Where? On Byers Road. But where? What? What state? How head next to the underground. I know, but what state? What city? Oh, Glasgow. Glasgow. Oh, jeez. Well, there's something wrong with the phone systems here, and uh, my phone keeps ringing, and I get to talk to people from all over the United States, and now, obviously, Glasgow. Somebody has screwed with the telephone company. Something's no. happened. Jamie, take care. Bye. Hello? Hello? Hey, I can't hear you. Hello? Okay, that's better. Sorry about that. Um, how can I help you? Uh, you called me. No. Didn't you just well, call me? My phone Hello? just rang. Where are no. you? I'm in the Sitting Duck Tavern. Where? The Sitting Duck Tavern. It, in where? Where? What city? In, Str in Stratford. Yeah. Someone That's just called here to ask about a reservation for 40 people. No. Uh... Ignore that. Uh, somebody has been doing some fancy tricks with uh, the phone system. This uh, happened to me here about a month ago, and I reported it to AT&T. Uh, my phone rings at the same time yours rings. and It's so weird because when I picked up the uh, our hostess picked up the phone and told me that somebody had called for a reservation for 40 for um, next week, and then as I picked up the phone, I heard ringing while you were on the phone talking, and then that's... That's weird. Yeah, somebody, somebody's uh, jerking you around. So if anybody makes a reservation for 40 people, I would call them back if they leave you a number. Yeah, that's why we always take a number, just to be safe. Thanks, I appreciate that. You're 100% right. <laughs> this may happen again. I got uh, three phone calls in a row. One was from a butcher in Chicago, another uh, wine store in Atlanta. Somebody has uh, figured a way to game AT&T, I think. Sounds good. All right. I, uh, sorry about this, sir. Okay. Hello? Mr. Piven. Yeah, uh, who's this? Uh, this is Rocky from the Jeopardy TV office. How are you doing? Rocky from the Jeopardy TV office. you got to come up with something better than that. It's the truth. Uh, Mr. Trebek is launching a new spinoff program for the network called What's Crackin'? He wanted me to get you on the line and patch you through to him. And if you're able to talk about it briefly here for a moment today. That'd be fantastic. Thank you. Okay. Hello? Hi. Hello? Hello? Yeah, who's this? Yes? Who who's are you calling? This? I don't know. I was just patched through to you. I'm sorry? I was just patched through to you. Uh, I think. What is? Where are you located? Uh, I am inside of your... Um, Subconscious, and I've been with you since you've been conscious, uh, just shortly after you exited the womb. Shortly after what? 
Uh, just when you, as soon as you got out of the womb and you were conscious, I've been with you. Oh, I'm sorry. I actually, at, at your inception, inside of the womb. Uh, I'm having trouble understanding what you're saying. Who were you calling? No, that's, that's the problem. Go inward. What I suggest is a quick 10 or 20 minutes in the morning uh, meditation, uh, and you and I will be together, and we'll be together forever, really. I just want to check in and say hello. Okay. Thank you. Cool. Okay, God bless. Take and carry on. And listen, take the high road. Glass is always half full. Mr. Trebek, okay, I'm uh, right there with you. I've got Mr. Piven on the line. Who? Mr. Piven. Piven? Yes. Which Piven? Jeremy Piven. Let me see if I can get him back on the line. Okay. Why was uh, uh, Why was Jeremy calling me? About a new program uh, from Viacom called What's Kraken. I'm trying to get him on the line for you again right now. I apologize. Well, who are you trying to get? A, you're trying to get Jeremy Piven on the line for who? For you, sir. And my name is Alex Trebek. Yes. Okay. Hello? Hello, is this Jeremy? Who is this? This is Alex Trebek. I'm not quite sure I believe it, sir. Well, I am. The answer is Alex Trebek. And I was just informed that you were trying to call me. Oh, no, that's funny. That's so interesting. Well, we're sorry to bother you. Someone called me and asked me through to you somehow. So someone's playing a, a prank on both of us. But thank I you think so. No, it's regarding the, the program. What's cracking? We were meant to work it out here. Jeremy, do you I'm know anything talking. about this? I really don't. Not a thing. And I, I don't either. What, what has happened in recent months, and I don't know if you've experienced this, my phone yeah. will ring, and yeah. it will be somebody in some other part of the country whose phone rang at the same time. Somebody has wow. managed to come up with a system where they can call two people, and mm -hmm. each person thinks that he's been called by the other person, and neither one knows anything about it. So if Viacom is doing a show, Jeremy, and uh, they want you to do it, uh, to listen to their uh, proposal, and if they want me to get involved, I'll listen to their proposal. But at the moment, I have no knowledge of what the hell this is all about. But I'm an admirer of your work. Uh, and, and you as well, sir. And, um, and listen, um, I think you're way too busy to take on another show, and, and I think as your personal advisor now, and that's the way I think of myself, um, I would advise you to take a little time off because you work very hard. Well, yeah, but we only do two days a week, so I do have a lot. A lot of people think I've got it too easy. They say, uh, maybe you should work harder. <laughs> wow. That's why we call from What's Cracking, sir. Okay, well, hopefully somebody will figure this all out, and uh, maybe if you and I ever run into each other, we can uh, talk about the, the strangeness of this moment. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, man. Well, I'll be watching you. Take care, Okay. Man. Bye. Yeah. Bye. <laughs> Hello? Yes. Hi, pardon me. Who is this? Jose Conseco. Mr. Conseco, I'm calling from the office of Jeopardy host Alex Trebek. How do you do? Good. How are you doing? Good, good. Alex has a buyer for a baseball bat signed by you for $5,000. Let me see if I can get the Jeopardy host here on the line. The oh, a baseball bat? Yes. This is Alex Hello? Hello? Yes. Yes? Jose, sir? Who are you calling? Yes, Jose. Okay, who are you calling? They're calling me. Who? Someone called me. I didn't call. Hello? Yes? Who wants to buy a signed baseball? Alex Trebek. Okay. You can put it on the line. I'm his manager, and then um, once he gets on the line, then I can um, give the phone to Jose. Uh, this is Alex Trebek. Who are you calling? Okay. Are you trying to reach Jose? Uh, who's Jose? Jose Canseco. <laughs> no. Uh, I was not trying to reach Jose okay. Canseco. What no, I no. think is happening is there is somebody or a group of people out there who <laughs> have found phone numbers for different celebrities, and they have found a way, I believe, to call both numbers at the same time, and both individuals pick up, and they don't know what the hell the call is all about, 
Which Alex do you think you're talking to? Alex, I was trying to get through. Drew? Yeah. Oh, no. Uh, there's no Drew here. Who is this? Is this Jose? Yes. Oh, this is Alex Trebek, the host of Jeopardy. Yes, Alex. Then now the phone is ringing again out there somewhere. You hear it? Do you need to answer it? No, no. It's ringing, and maybe they're trying to get a third person involved. I've gotten calls from butcher shops in Chicago saying, we are ready to confirm your order. So somebody's just screwing with the telephone system, and as I said, they found a way to, uh, you know, call different people and get them on the line at the same time. And you're talking That's about a phone. butcher block? <laughs> and a restaurant in Atlanta. Oh, I need to confirm the reservation. And now you've got music on there, so they've managed to screw up three lines, it looks like. So we just have to live with this kind of crap, Jose. Sorry about it. I'm Somebody's sorry. Which, which, where is this place located that you're talking about? <laughs> Do I don't know. Oh. Well, how did you get my residence here? Jose, I don't have your residence number. <laughs> they said they just, whoever's screwing with us. Uh, has all these numbers, and they're managing to cross-patch them so that our phones ring at the same time, and, uh, you know, we don't know what the hell it's all about. So we're in the dark, and they're having fun, I guess. Who knows? I sure am sorry about that, and I hope it doesn't continue. Well, they go in spurts. I don't know if it's when they're drinking or whatever, but uh, hopefully it won't happen again today, but it may. I've gotten a few calls on the same day. From grocery stores in Memphis, Atlanta, and uh, I have two. Second one today. I've gotten oh. about four myself today. Oh, okay. So they're on a roll. Okay. And there's the phones ringing again in the background. I don't know whose line that is. Okay. So, let's hope we get lucky. Thank you, sir. Okay. Take care. Bye. Hello, Mr. Keckner. Yes. Hi, this is Rocky from the Jeopardy Television office. How are you doing, sir? I'm doing well. Good. Um, Alex Trebek wanted me to contact you uh, about appearing on the show. If I could put you through to him, if you have just a moment here to speak to him. Oh, you know what? Uh, honestly, right now, I am in uh, Louisiana at Tulane University about to go to a show. He would love to speak to you just briefly. I'm going to put you through to Alex right now. Okay, look, so I've got to go do a show. Hello? This is probably a joke, I'm guessing. Hello? 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 Yes? This is David. And? I'm, I'm wondering the same thing. Oh, your phone rang? It did. Yeah, my phone rang. Mm -hmm. Somebody's dicking around with the system. They've managed to come up with a uh, process whereby they can phone two people at the same time and neither party knows what the hell's going on. Oh, and I'm sure so, they're having a great time right now. Yep, well, they are. They are so, so brilliant. Um, anyway, well, I hope you have a wonderful night. I certainly okay. will. And uh, to right. the cocksuckers who have uh, engaged us, have a good laugh, children. Yeah, where are you? What, uh, I'm what actually, city? I, I, I'm, I live in L.A., but I'm actually about to do a show in, at Tulane University right now. Oh, you're where? Yeah. At, in at Tulane? New Orleans. Tulane, yeah. This, this oh. is David Keckner. Um, is this Alex Trebek for real? Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. So they've gotten a hold of your number and my number, and so... Oh, they've gotten uh, a hold of I, a lot of people's number. I got a call from uh, Jose Canseco the other day. So, yeah, so they, they've figured a way to screw with the system. Oh, they're... they're, they're Hopefully we'll get them and beat the crap out of them, the sons of bitches. Yes, or worse. Well, that, I agree with you there. Okay. Yes. You take care. Bye. Thanks, brother. You too. Bye. Hello. Howdy. Hello. Yeah, uh, this is uh, Dusty with DHL. We've been trying to get through, sir, and no one's answered the bell each and every time we've been out there. Uh, so, oh, so, oh, so, oh, so, oh, so. Do you have any explanation? Uh, no, we've been home for the past two days, Dusty. And what's the uh, delivery? Is it a package? Is it an envelope? Or it's a pouch. A pouch. Yeah. Yeah. And, yeah, 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 yeah. and there's money to be paid uh, for it. COD, yes, sir. Really? Mm-hmm. Oh, well, that sounds kind of strange because I called DHL after I spoke with you uh, uh, yesterday, or I guess it was early yesterday. 
and they said that uh, if there's ever COD to be paid, the office calls first. So, Well, that's what I'm doing. Yeah? Are you at the office or you're the delivery man? I was educated in your world. All you got is your DVD movies, going to the cinema, waging wars. That's all you have. And you're an idiot. Thank you for calling your This is Chip. Chip, I was working with a different rep. I should probably stick with them. Name Peter? Uh, Peter's not available right now. How can I help you out? I got my brother here. I don't know a thing about guitars. Could he talk to my brother real quick? Yeah, I can do that. Just talk to Alex. He got the guitar that's a Fender. Made in Mexico. Okay. Yeah, why is the phone ringing right now? I'm putting you through to my brother. Have I got guitar center? Uh, uh, have I got guitar center you on the line? I've got guitar center, but yeah, you do. But I'm not sure who, Hello? who, uh, who I've got here. Who are you calling? Alex. I'm Alex. A L E X? Uh huh. So I'm trying to figure out why your phone keeps ringing here. I have no idea. Okay, bring, uh, bring your guitar into the store. Oh, <laughs> somebody's jerking us around. They've got my number. And uh, they usually manage to cross-connect me with somebody in Atlanta or Chicago, or they think it's fun. Okay. Okay. Hello? Yes? Hello? Yes? Oh, okay. It's not like the uh, phone disconnected. Wait a minute. Did your phone ring? No, but I heard it ring. <laughs> you heard it ring? Yeah. Okay. You're not calling anybody. Uh, you just called me, didn't you? No. Uh, there's... There's somebody who's managed to give, learn how to cross-connect different phones so that people in different areas have their phones ring at the same time, and uh, they all wonder what the hell's going on. So somebody's having fun at our expense. Where are you? I'm in Southern California. I am, too. Oh, okay. Well, hopefully they'll get tired of screwing with us. It's just too bad. I can't imagine. can't really imagine. Yeah. I can't really imagine. Who's that other voice? Okay. I can't figure it out. I can't either. Let's figure it out. Yeah. Figure it out. What's that now? Hello? Hi. I, I guess they transferred me to you. I, I'm part of the Hollywood Wax Museum. Oh, okay. And I guess you were, were, were trying to get a, a wax figure made. I was. Who transferred you? Uh, Rocky. Rocky said this? That's what Rocky said. <laughs> yeah. Are you sure you got the right person? Who were you calling? I, I spoke to Rocky, and he said that he was going to transfer me to you, I guess, to do a wax figure of you for Alex, and pretty much just to get some more information on it. Well, who wants a, a wax image of me? Rocky. Rocky does? Yeah, that's what he said. Hmm. Uh, well... You've taken me completely by surprise. I know nothing about this, so... <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I heard about it. I, I know he's been calling a couple of times to see if that's something that we can do. Yeah. Let me talk to Rocky about this and find out what... What's okay, we'll do. Thank you. Viacom, hello. Uh, Viacom? Boy, did I miss dial. Sorry about that. Yes, sir. Who are you trying to reach here? Uh, I'm trying to dial an outside line. Uh, apparently, you're trying to procure a sculpture? No. Who am no, I speaking with? You're speaking with Alex Trebek, and I'm not trying to secure anything. So, I will try again. Yes, sir. Hello? Hi, I'm Schrobel from Zatarain's Rice. I have no idea who you are and what you want. Do <laughs> you want to tell me? Zatarain's, the rice cooker. I know nothing about it. Real spicy. Well, sorry, I'm not interested. But I have a note here to call you. Uh, you couldn't have a note to call me because I asked you to call me. Uh, Shlobo Nix. No. That's my name. No. Uh, Hello. Yes. There you go. That, that's the person you should be calling, I guess. I'm sort of a phenom when it comes to cooking. Am I in the right place? No, I didn't call you. So somebody's screwing around with the phones, I think. Is there some sort of flip that needs to happen? I, I have no idea. Somebody has managed to jerk the phone system around so that two or three people are called at the same time and are told that they were calling somebody else. And it just, it, I wish I could explain it to you, but uh, 
Somebody is having fun at our expense. Well, what do you have to say about Zatarain? I don't know anything about it. It's a spicy uh, concoction. It's full of character. Well, I don't care. It's real flavorful. Hello? Yeah, this is Mr. Beaupre. Yes? Hello? Yes? Go ahead. Yes. This is Mr. Beaupre. And uh, why are you calling me? I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know. I was told that you were waiting for me. Um, let me ask you a question, sir. Did your phone ring, or did you guys place a call? My phone ring. Ah. There is, uh, there is a group of people out there, I assume young males, who have found a way to cross-connect two or three phones nationally and have those phones ring at the same time. And oh, wow. Just screw, just screw with people. I've gotten calls from a butcher shop in Atlanta, from a restaurant in Chicago, telling me that my order was oh, ready. So we are both I'm, victims I'm of this. So sorry. I'm so sorry. Oh, yeah, I was, I, I was told that uh, I was getting a call from Alex Trebek on Jeopardy. <laughs> well, I am Alex Trebek, and I am the host of Jeopardy, but I did not place a call. I'm sorry to say, Mr. Beaupre, you're the... Oh, you're Alex Trebek? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, how are you doing, sir? Uh, I'm doing well, and you? Well, good. I am. I, I did not. I, I'm, I apologize. I picked up the phone. Uh, yeah. Just so you know, I'm a big, yeah, again, I'm a big fan, but I did not... I, there's, I did not call you. No, you don't have to apologize. They're just, as I said, I am assuming young males who are just having fun at our expense. And I've talked to AT&T about this, and they don't know how to deal with it. And there's the phone ringing again. Did you hear that? You are getting prank calls. Hello? Let's wait and see who picks up. Let's see who buzzes in. Yeah, let's do it. Unidentified caller who's calling. Hello? Yeah. Hello? Yes? But who the hell am I talking to? Uh, your, phone just, <laughs> your phone just rang, sir, right? Don't you rich? See, he hung up. Yeah, be smart. He doesn't want to bother. <laughs> I mean, I can't tell you the different people I've spoken to in this kind of situation. So we just have to put up. Well, I'm being who you are. I'm so sorry you have to go through this. Uh, well, don't worry about it. But uh, you just have a good day. Take care, sir. Yeah, you do the same, Alan. Thank you. Uh, that was Alex Trebek. Hey, Barbarella. Can I speak to your manager? There it is. I could let you talk to my manager, sure. Thank you. I would love to talk to your manager, Barbarella. All right, one moment, please. Manager better be hot. Can you please be professional? Hello? Hello? Hi. Yes? Yes. Hello? Uh, Hello? Man manager, please. Uh, yes, hi, this is Barbara from UPN. I just wanted to know if you'll be paying COD for our package that we'll deliver to, right? Okay, explain why you're calling me. I'm going to eat your fucking kids. Do you hear me? Do you fucking hear me? I'm going to eat your fucking kids. Stop calling that fucking number. I'm a corporate employee in a corporate structure. Uh -huh. uh, I've never ordered anything for you in my life and never would. First I deal with package fulfillment, guy. Get used to it. Package oh, fulfillment all day long. Yes, I do, sir. Yes, I do. UPS.com. Right. Why, why, oh, oh, oh. why don't I speak to your supervisor, quote unquote? I'm happy to put my supervisor on the phone. You do that right now. Okay. Just a moment, sir. Hello? Oh, hello. hello? Who's this? Alex? Alex, and who do you work for? What does it matter? You you called me. <laughs> I didn't call you. <laughs> I didn't call you at all. You guys can't get your story straight. <laughs> My phone just <laughs> rang, and I picked up, and I said hello. So Okay. Well, I'm getting calls from this number. Well, I'm, why am I even explaining to you? I, I'd like you to explain yourself. You're getting calls from this number. Oh, well, sure did. So why don't you explain to me who you are, why I'm talking to you? I have no idea. My name is Alex Trebek. What's your name? Alex Trebek. I love your TV show. Okay, thank you. Now, explain why you're calling me. Didn't call you. You didn't call me just now. Did not. Your phone rang and you picked up. Nope. My phone rang about five minutes ago. I picked up and another gentleman was on the phone. I told that gentleman I'd like to speak to his supervisor, and I got you. 
Uh, I don't know how that happened. There's somebody who's been jerking around the phone system for quite some time, okay. a couple of years, and manages to cross-connect three different people in different parts of the country. So it looks like uh, you are a newcomer to this procedure. And oh, no, I'm well. familiar with what's going on. This is a scammer, who I assume you're in cahoots with. But in any case, that's all it is. You're a scammer. That's what you are. You're full of shit. I've had enough of this. Okay. I have to go back Your to the has been forwarded to an automatic voice message. Do you think I'm the famous Courtney Love? And so you're just giving me shit? I don't believe you because oh, you've treated me like shit. Let me just get my supervisor real quick. Maybe we can waive the fee for you. I'll just get my supervisor on the line right now. Hello? Hello? Yes? Can I help you? Yes. And you are? Who are you calling? I don't even know for what, and there's nothing I expect, and there's been no driver contact, and just one rude phone call, and now you. Oh, Somebody screws around with the phone systems. They've managed to find a way to have different people receive calls at exactly the same time. Well, this is great. I've been harassed by your previous caller. He even had a child pick up. I don't know that I can believe that this is real, and I don't have time to be harassed. I'm sorry. Uh, oh, don't be sorry. Somebody's out there screwing with us, and we haven't been able to catch him yet. But one of these days, right. we may get lucky. Well, I just received a call from someone saying that you are trying to track a package. Uh, who did you receive the call from? Oh, he didn't tell me. He was saying that I was supposed to be speaking with Joey. And he said I will connect Joey to the line, and here we are. Hello? Okay, who is that? Hello? Hello? Yes, we are still Yes? There. Are you still hello? there? Hello? Hello? Somebody say Hello? Hello? Um, yes, it's Rod. I'm still here. I'm sorry? Uh, this is Rod. I'm still here from UPS. Tell me, how can I help you? UPS? Hello, is anyone still yes, there? Yes? Yeah, what, what's this about? Somebody is screwing with our phones. They managed to cross-connect phones. And, uh, hey, can you tell me what number you're calling from? I'm not calling at all. My phone rang. Uh, you called me. No. No, your phone no, no, rang my and phone my phone rang. rang. It's because somebody is screwing phone. around. So we'll just hang up right. what is, and hopefully what is they your won't name? screw. My name's Alex. What is your name? Alex. How do you spell that? How do you spell what's your it? ID you number? don't know how to spell Alex? What is, what's, your, what's your employee ID number? I don't have an employee ID number. So what's we your full name? hang up. You, you should um, let me know what number you're calling from. Hello? Something strange is going on. Hello? Yes? Hello. Hello? There he is. Speak of the devil. Mm -hmm. Who is the devil? You. How do I become the devil? Jenny, can you hear him? Uh, yes, I can. Uh, my phone just rang. I suppose you two ladies are in different parts of the country. Is that fair? Is that right? Hello? Something strange is going on, definitely. There is somebody, yes, something strange is going on. There is somebody who has managed to develop a system of interfering with the phone service and getting three people's phones ringing pretty much at the same time. My phone yes. just rang, and I picked up. Are you guys in different parts of the country? I'm in Southern California. Yes, we're in Colorado. Is that oh, true for both you, of you? Jenny? I don't know. Um, okay, so... Uh, Did your phones ring just now? Or have you been on the line for a bit? Uh, we were on the line for a bit. Oh, hello. Uh, hello? That's, un that's and unusual. And a fellow because whose voice sounded a lot like yours called me and said, just a minute, I'm going to put Jenny on the line. And then Jenny joined in. And you weren't the huh. person that created that conference call? No, ma'am, I'm not. As I said, okay. I've had this happen to me many times before, but usually what happens is that two or three phones all ring at the same time, and when we all pick up, somebody says uh, yes, and uh, they say, you know, what's your order? Like it'll be a restaurant or 
a market or something like that or somebody else, and we're all very surprised. But I'm no longer surprised because it's happened so many times. Somebody, somebody is jerking the phone system around, there, and I, I guess they're getting a big thrill out of doing it. So, don't. I'll hang no, up now and let you ladies. Go ahead. Yes, I, I think they're studying. They're. Thank you. There's, hello. Uh, hello. 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 Hi. Okay, I can hear you. Um. Who's this? Um, I I don't know who you are. I just uh, got a call from the post office, the lady from the postal service from Colorado, and um, oh, my phone just rang. I'm in Canada. Oh ho! You see, uh, who is it? Jenny, are you still on the line? Ah, uh, yeah. Well, you see what I was just saying. This gentleman's phone just rang. So. Uh, somebody is jerking the system around, so I'm going to hang up, and you guys should hang okay. up too. And hopefully, hopefully the key oh, tune is change. responsible for this. All right. Uh, okay. We'll I don't something. Oh, are you in Canada too? <laughs> nope. I'll put the rope back someday, but not today. Just like you found it, right? Hello. Just like I found it. Huh? Hello. Just like I found it. Found what? Just like I found it. I don't know what you're talking about. Who are you talking to? Who is this? Are you there? Yes. Hey, Alex? Yes. How are you doing? I'm okay. Who is this? Um, this is Andrew. How, how's your evening? Fine. Um, I, uh, do you, do you know how we got here? We got where? We're on the phone together. Yes. Um. You called me. That's. Uh, um. I'm not sure if I did actually. My phone just rang. Oh well, so did mine. So somebody's screwing around with our phones. That happens. I often, see. Unfortunately. Yeah. So don't, it, don't uh, let it bother you. We haven't been able to trace it, and uh, it's just somebody having fun at our expense. So. Have a I good understand. Day. I hope you're doing well. Please leave your message you for. Thank you. Thank you. Hello. 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 Yes. This is Chris calling from Electric Quirks. To whom am I speaking? You're speaking to Alex. Who is this, Chris? Yes. You're, you're calling from. Um, I was called by you guys. I'm Electric Quirks. No. Somebody's screwing with the phones. They, uh, there's, there's a prankster out there who does that, who puts calls into people, and he has them call back all over the country. Uh, just mm. ignore it. Okay. All right. Yeah. Sorry about that. It's happened to me many times. Oh, my gosh. It must be so much fun for you. Yeah. Well, well. so... Just ignore it and just hang up whenever it uh, Usually he connects three people at the same time. Oh, well, don't, don't you want to wait and find out who else he's going to connect? No. Thank you. Oh, come on, Alex. Stay on the phone. I got another crewman here that maybe you can touch base with him and see if you like where he's coming from on the whole task force idea. Just ask him if you have any further questions about the anchor. Okay. Yeah. Let me hand you over to him. Come here, matey. Here. Talk to Jacob. A hell of a guy. Hello. 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 Renee? No. Jacob, bud. I'm getting some kind of talk on the phone here about getting signed up to be on a a boat. Uh, and I'm and I've never I've hardly ever been on a boat, but once it got seasick as all get out. Does that, does that make any sense to you? Is this Renee? No. Oh. Who is this? Who is this? This is Alex. Whoa. Yeah, I don't. Uh, I'm so, I'm pretty con I'm pretty confused about what's happening right now. Well, I think there's somebody out there who seems to take a great deal of pleasure in cross-connecting three people who uh, 
just pick up their phones and say hello, and they don't know what the hell's going on, and this guy seems to get a kick out of this, so we just have yeah. to ignore the son of a bitch. Yeah. 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 He's got somebody on the third line, and uh, they don't know it because they're, they're just picking up the siren hello. and stuff. So just hang up, and I'll do the same, and hopefully he'll get tired of bothering us today. But he'll, he'll be around again. Say what now? I said, hopefully he'll get tired of bothering us today and wait for another day. Who will? The guy who takes pleasure in screwing with the phone system. We haven't been able to track him down, unfortunately. Oh, yeah? Yeah. So, have a good day. Stay What's safe. What's your first who is your? Who is this? This is Alex. I don't know can't hear a Have word a you're saying. You've got uh, the background noise, and you're breaking yeah. up on your phone. So take That's care. Okay. Have a good one. You too. Bye-bye. Okay, when would you guys be able to reattempt delivery? Uh, could I transfer you to my driver, and you can maybe work that out with him? Yeah, it's fine. Alex is the driver. One moment, sir. Just a second. Hello? Hello? Yes? Um, yeah, I was transferred over, uh, to see when you guys were going to be able to reattempt delivery. I'm sorry, to see what? Say it again? Yeah, someone, uh, was it Ned transferred me over to see when you guys were going to reattempt delivery? To, uh, oh, shit, corporation. No, you got the wrong number. Somebody's screwing with the phones. They do this all the time. They, they cross-connect people who don't know anything about each other and they just mess with us. So you'll have to bear with it. They'll probably try again once or twice and just hang up on them. Gotcha. Oh, would you like to come to the dock and pick it up? Or well, that's an option. You know, whatever you no, like. No, I would to like to talk to your supervisor. How about that, Elmer Whip? Let me talk to your supervisor. Okay. okay. Well, just, just a moment, moment sir. sir. Have him call me back. I'm, I'm transferring you now. Just a moment, sir. And I'll be with... And I will listen, Mr. Whip. I'm this transferring you to my supervisor. Recorded. Hello. And I am going to the police department and filing a complaint. Am Hello? I clear? Hello? Who is this? Who is this? I don't know. Who are you calling? I didn't call anybody. You called me. Oh, no. I'm, I'm just trying to understand what you got to do with these cards. Hello? Um, yes? Well, if you're trying, trying to shuffle them, I'm, I'm, are you looking for organization or are you looking for, for shuffling I think you, of these I cards? Think you have the, I think you have the wrong number. <laughs> you are you still, there? still there? I think I'm, I'm on the wrong number here. Um, what are you, who are you calling for? I, I just got reconnected to this number. Uh, someone called me. Yeah, probably just a missile, dude. Hello? Hey, uh, hello? Yeah. Yep, I'm I'm here, man. Are are you hearing the third guy talking? I did for a second. Is this Longmont Potion Castle by any chance? Automatic voice uh, message I, system. Four, zero, <laughs> four, did you guys eight, hear me? Four, nine, eight, one, uh, yeah, man, I can hear you. It sounds. It kind of sounds like you're prank calling me, though. Please record your no, somebody is prank calling. They do this all the time. They, 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 they connect three different lines, and they just screw around with us. They've been doing it for a few years. You just all right, well, uh, you want to... Shall we both call it quits, then? How about that? Well, I haven't done anything. I've just been sitting here, and my phone rang twice. So all right, well, that's what happened to me, so have a good day. Wait, where are okay, you guys? For the next question, we will be using a scale between 1 and 5, with 1 meaning strongly disagree, and 5 Hello? meaning strongly agree. Question 2. Hello? 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 Is this, is this UPS? Hello? Hello? Yes, can I help you? Yeah, yeah you called me. No, somebody's screwing with our telephone lines. They they cross they cross different people's numbers and they call two or three people at the same time and everybody thinks they've been called and 
It's just somebody having fun at our expense. Oh, just disregard. It's not you. It's not you. Yes. No, it is not. Oh well, I'm sorry. No, don't be. Have a great day. Yep. Hello. Hello. Yes. Hello. Yes. Hi. What's it about? You. You. You called me. No, I didn't. Somebody. Unfortunately, there's some yo-yo out there in the nether world who takes a great deal of joy of cross-connecting different telephone users, and usually connects three people together who all get called at the same time. They all think they've been sure. called. Not one of them has made a call. So okay. you just have to bear <laughs> well. with it and hope that the asshole gets his stuff together and stops bothering us. Sorry about the inconvenience. Well, not a problem. Thank you. Okay. All right, bye-bye.